Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. 2023 is the year when Home Assistant finally wants to focus more on voice assistance. And I thought, before the year is over and we look back at what happened during the year, let's first take a look at the current status, which project Home Assistant wants to collaborate on and what features might already be available. Everything else after the intro. Enjoy! First of all, let's start with the test setup that I have in front of me. It may all look a bit messy, but it can be explained relatively easily. We have a Raspberry Pi here, on which I have Home Assistant running, and of course the current Home Assistant voice project called Raspi. This is also the project that Home Assistant wants to collaborate with. So these two projects are meant to merge more closely and ensure that Home Assistant gets its own voice assistant. Why would someone want a voice assistant at all, some might wonder, since there are already Alexa, Google Home and Siri. All three of these have one thing in common. They are dependent on the cloud. And that is exactly what Home Assistant is trying to achieve locally. Raspi is the project that works best in a multilingual context and thus functions reasonably well in the German-speaking area. That's why I have already installed it here and additionally integrated the good old Decon stick for Zigbee functionality into Home Assistant. Connected to it is a lamp so we can easily see what is happening, which is currently turned on. Then we have my good old headset here, which I am currently using simply as a speaker. It is connected via a jack and of course you could connect any other speaker to it as well. Lastly, we have a network logically and a PlayStation camera here. As far as I know, this is an old PlayStation 3 camera, which is probably best supported by this project because it is so inexpensive and has a relatively good built-in microphone. You can purchase them for about 10 on eBay. I will definitely include the link in the description. And yes, this setup is basically a small realization of a voice assistant. I have programmed the whole thing now, which means the microphone is basically just waiting for my keyword, just like you know it from Siri, Google and Alexa, and can then process sentences, give me answers or perform actions like turning this lamp on and off. Hey Jarvis, turn off the office light. Hey Jarvis, turn off the... Hey Jarvis, turn on the office light. As you can see, it works somewhat decently. However, and this is also the reason why I didn't include it in this video, you need to configure quite a bit on both Home Assistant and Raspi for this connection to work as you have seen here. I really spent a very, very long time getting it to work like this. And also these things that you just saw are from 2001, but they don't work the way you know from Siri, where you can ask any natural questions like for example, what temperature do we have right now in Cologne? Or read me the latest news. But you really have to integrate every single voice command independently. So. It is not yet fully developed to the point where I would say it can really be used primarily, especially since the speech model is not functioning at 100%. Of course, I have optimal conditions here. I am right in front of the microphone, no music is playing in the background, and so on. But as soon as one of these factors is not quite right, the voice command simply doesn't work properly anymore. And in my opinion, it's also quite strange when you call a command into a room and nothing happens. If I have to say it two or three times for the light to actually switch on, I would rather just press the light switch, where I know it will work every time. This means that this project is really cool and a lot can be configured. You can use different devices for it. The whole thing can theoretically even run on a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is the smallest Raspberry Pi available for purchase. You can choose different words to start the recognition. So in addition to Jarvis, you also have many other options available and could even theoretically create your own. There are different speech-to-text and text-to-speech variations including Google WaveNet, which will probably work best, but of course it is again connected to the Google Cloud, which somewhat undermines the purpose of having a local Home Assistant. You can send the commands directly to Home Assistant, as in my case, or you can also have it send MQTT commands allowing you to implement control through Node-RED or even your very own project. And of course the main factor is that everything is available locally. I will definitely put the link to Raspi in the description so you can check it out yourself and if you're interested, set it up on your own. Additionally, I will include my Docker Compose file which works wonderfully with this PlayStation camera and the Raspberry Pi. And if you say you really want a guide, then I will create one for you in a separate video. But it's a bit more complicated to configure, I'm just warning you. But that should be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found it helpful. If so, I would of course be very happy about a review, and then I would say, see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.